It's been a minute. It's been a while since we haven't watched Simpsons together and I got my hands on some new episodes. Disclaimer, new for me. I'm sure all of you have already watched them since the 90s. That have to do with nuclear power since Homer is the nuclear engineer in the series. And I thought it would be fun to get back to it and react to some of those together. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I found this episode, season 4, episode 7, that as far as I read is being banned in some countries. It is the one that... Ah, oh, what's her name? Summer's wife, March. She gets a job at the nuclear power plant and she's supposed to kind of represent Marie Curie. I haven't watched the episode so we can react to it together. So I'm quite curious. Let's see. We have to do something. Marge, it'll cost $8,500. Their house is like super crooked and it's like sinking on the one side and they need more money. So I guess that's the cue for her to get a job, right? I could get a job. Hey, then I could follow my dream. It's funny how the only opportunities for employment in this place that they're living is the nuclear power plant and somehow happened that they, all of them have like no qualification to work there. Do you mind if I say a few words? Oh, me, 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 I need all the attention just because it's my party, eh? It's his party, let him say a sentence. Please don't make me retire. My job is the only thing that keeps me alive. I never married and my dog is dead. That's kind of sad. I knew he didn't want to retire. I could feel it. Poor <laughs> guy! Why? How is the retirement of a senior employee, of a senior engineer, opens up an entry position to like another place in the power plant? Shouldn't it open up a senior position? Or is someone going to be kind of promoted within the power plant for the senior position to open up? Because it's kind of like, it doesn't connect. Let's see. Homemaker, 1982 present. I love it. That's one hell of a resume to apply for a nuclear power plant. I'm not sure what kind of position she could get with that skill set, but if experience watching Simpsons is of any indication for me, I'm sure she'll get some pretty high position anyways, because her husband might as well have had the same resume with her. Curator of large mammals? Marge, have you seen my lunchbox? Oh, I see. I like the daughter. She's even more crafty than the mom. Curator of large mammals. That's an excellent description for taking care of Homer. This resume Some is run. very impressive. Let me be the first to say Kadibu Kazini. What? <laughs> How is the resume very impressive? It's more like a question of what are your hobbies? Tell us a little bit more about your personality. There is like zero skill set in there. But then again, we are watching The Simpsons, so as I said, I am expecting her to get a crazy high position anyways. Sorry, the position has been filled. Oh dear. Not the cute old engineer reapplying again for the position they retired him from. <laughs> Poor guy, is he really that sad? You can teach, you know? Marge, you're making a big mistake. I'm gonna see you all day at work and all night at home. <laughs> How is it a big mistake? You see her at work, you see her at home. Anyways, he do the same thing at work and at home. He's just chilling and eating around. He's not working anyway. I think it's wonderful. Mom and Dad side by side at the power plant. They'll be just like Marie and Pierre Curie. Well, there you go. They just go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. They brought into context Marie and Pierre Curie, probably the most famous couple in uh, nuclear physics. Marie Curie, of course, worked with radioactivity, discovered elements like radon. Pierre Curie was her husband. And uh, saying that these <laughs> people, Homer and Marge Simpson, are the next Marie and Pierre Curie, it's a definition of an under overstatement. But I appreciate the daughter's knowledge in knowing that and seemingly Homer having no idea who these people are, <laughs> which is insane. <laughs> It's the Curies, we must flee. I like how the guy, the little guy, thinks that they were like some evil super villains or something. 
shooting radioactivity from their eyes. I mean, if anything, that's an interesting movie on its own. <laughs> now, Marge, just remember, if something goes wrong at the plant, blame the guy. Oh, I think this is the first time I see her in, dressed in anything else but that dress, green dress that she's wearing all the time. And this is your office. That idiot Tibor lost the key, but you can jimmy it open with a credit card. Did he also accuse the guy who doesn't speak English of losing the key? <laughs> Love me some safety protocol in the nuclear power plant. You can just unlock it with sliding in the credit card. No biggie. <laughs> How is this an office? This looks like a some sort of operation room. Well, have fun. What do I do? <laughs> Mart. Please, according to your resume, you invented this machine. How much of a little white lie did she and her daughter put in the resume? <laughs> Based on her resume, you invented this machine. What is even this? It's just buttons. <laughs> oh no. No? Well, now you know. Marge, what are you doing? It's lunchtime. I'll just be a minute. I have to finish this paperwork. Where does it go? Don't worry, baby. Again, my favorite misconception about nuclear power, which is putting the atom sign on the cooling tower, which just produces steam and nothing atomic or radioactive is in there. It's interesting how the moment, the first day she's at work, she's motivated to do something and he's like, no, don't worry about it. Let's just ship your documents somewhere that we don't even know where they're going. It's going to be fine. Two will know what to do. The little green goo leakage left and right just to remind you of the power plant. Some purple water. Oh, there seems to be a method of sending the letters or the documents somewhere. And the method is just dumping in some purple water and some beavers were collected. <laughs> What are they doing? Are they playing with the radioactive drums? And then the people with the full-on hazmat suits are playing chess. Lolly geggers. Noodle heads. <laughs> Chicken fights. Enchantress. Look at the helmet. She has put the helmet on the top of her tall head. <laughs> it's amazing. Why not create a helmet that goes all the way down, you know? For extra safety. Think about it in your next episode. I must have her. Smithers, zoom in. Closer, 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 damn it! Wait, he doesn't know that she's Homer's wife? I don't get it. What do you mean you must have her? I just came to give you the orchids and fragrant bath oils I lavish upon all my employees. Oh, not creepy at all. <laughs> I lavish upon all my employees. Bath oils? <laughs> Poor people. Drinking on duty. I am the angel oh my of God. death. You could give them healthier snacks. Take away their donuts and they will start a riot. <laughs> What's new, pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, everybody's seemingly happy, internally depressed. <laughs> Job halfway done. You can't take our donuts. Told you. Yeah! I like that the drums with the radioactivity sign are also sitting in the cafeteria, so it's just like a common thing, just lying them around. Marge, I'm giving you a raise and a new office. Are these green steam or something going out of these cooling towers? Oh my god. Now I see where Greenpeace gets it from. Don't worry, Smithers. I'm putting you where the action is. In the men's Spring bathroom? Time. Well then, you're ready for your makeup test. Oh, my ovaries. My ovaries. I'm used to seeing people promoted ahead of me. I never thought it'd be my own wife. Slight hint of sexism there <laughs> that I recognize. I never thought it would be my wife. Why? You and her have literally the same qualification, which is zero. <laughs> so why not her? Mm, I dreamed about her again last night, Smithers. You know that dream where you're in bed and they fly in through the window? Smithers probably dreams of Mr. Byrne dreaming about him like that because there's clearly a thing there that I have seen in previous episodes. So I don't know how he feels about this whole situation, but it's clear that Mr. Burns hasn't gotten the memo yet about the fact that Marge is married. And can you please be like super proud of me knowing their names and actually just saying them? 
I am extremely surprised. It's been like four episodes or five that I've watched so far. So good for me. I knew it. Got a better idea. Get the hell out. <laughs> Look, I got some washers in my truck. I'll give you one. Marge, get my gun. It's for free, just take it. Oh, and perhaps you should look in this suitcase. All right, but I don't oh. see... Is he trying to poison him with some radioactive gas to perform in a party? I don't think this guy will be able to do that after they poison him. She must think you're after her eggs! I only ate one! <laughs> nice doggy. I see it's the whole city, it's not just the nuclear power plant, right? That is the whole city that shares a common brain cell. <laughs> Ivanhoe is a story of- You'll get your rabies all right now. Tom Jones. Hello, Marge. That's it. Oh Big my God. smile. You have a husband? Finally. You don't have to sue me to get my pants off. Ew, sexual harassment at work. You already know she's married, just let her be. <laughs> Plus, you got rejected. Oh, she is fine. Gosh. Look at all those flies buzzing around your head. You're a mess, woman. Taking rejection a little bit too hard, Mr. Burns. Homer, I want you to show this woman the time of her life. Gotcha. Marge, we're getting some drive through, then we're doing it twice. No, no, no. <laughs> I've got something even more special in mind. Oh, he arranged a date for the two of them. That's kind of sweet. I hope this guy was not forced with his life to perform. It's kind of sweet that he did that. <laughs> oh no! Get help, love. Call it the port. Get me a hacksaw. Anything. <laughs> this was actually a fun one. I think it was better in terms of context to watch the whole episode than just parts of it because you do get the kind of information that you skipped on the other ones. So I actually enjoyed this one quite much. Let me know what you guys think in the comment down below. And please write me titles of episodes that have to do with the nuclear power plant and that are somewhat nuclear related so I can react to them. It took me quite some time to find this one because there are literally hundreds of them out there. I'm super curious to know what you thought about this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the bell notification icon. It's been Elena, your friendly nuclear physicist, and until next time, see you soon. Good news, boy. I found a pharmacy that carries leeches. Well, yeah. that wasn't exactly... That's nice.